Okay guys, we've arrived at the next location here. Now, when you watch this, uh, if you've got feedback for me, please by all means give it to me. Uh, I know it's not perfect, but this is the first video. Hopefully uh, I'll get better as things go along. Right now, what we're looking at is the New York Life Building. Now this plot of land right here has a long and wanted history in New York City. Back in 1874, uh, P.T. Barnum uh, leased this land. And now this part, we're on Madison, and this is between 26 and 27, going all the way back to Park Avenue. Now, P.T. Barnum leased this land, and the first thing that he built on here was the Great Roman Hippodrome. Uh, that was full of chariot races and all different kinds of shows that P.T. Barnum was notorious for. Uh, however, there was a bit of a problem with that. Uh, he built it as an open-air um, arena. I'll just let that guy who's talking go out my way there. So um, he built it as an open air arena. Obviously in New York City it is boiling hot in the summer and even more so brutally cold in the winter. So an open air arena in this location was destined to fail. So he was only there for a couple of years with the Great Roman Hippodrome. And then in uh, 1877 the band composer Patrick Gilmore he took over this building and it was known as Gilmore Gardens. Now coincidentally, during this time, uh, in 1877, the Westminster Dog Show took place on that plot of land right there at, in Gilmore's Gardens. Now the Westminster Dog Show is notorious for being a part of uh, Madison Square Garden, but it was actually here two years before Madison Square Garden was built. Which brings us on to our next subject, Madison Square Garden. This plot of land right here was the original Madison Square Garden in 1879. Uh, a group of investors got together. Uh, the original garden lasted for uh, 11 years, then was torn down and they built Madison Square Garden 2, which was also built on the same land right here. Now, the notorious history of Madison Square Garden dates back all the way to the 1800s. Uh, boxing especially, it was in this arena that John L. Sullivan would fight. Uh, in fact, he won, the, um, uh, he won the title here from Paddy Ryan, I believe it was, uh, sometime in 1882, I think it was, uh, something like that. But it's got a long history of boxers that appeared here. Um, Gene Tunney versus Harry Greb took place in this arena. Uh, Jack Dempsey, James J. Corbett, uh, Jess Willard. They all fought in the uh, original Madison Square Garden, which was located on this corner right here. Uh, professional wrestling as well has just as much history in this building. In fact, for you uh, wrestling aficionados, George Hackenschmidt beat Tom Jenkins on that plot of land in 1905 to become the first world heavyweight champion. And like pretty much every uh, uh, wrestling person you could think of uh, wrestled in this building. Um, Frank Gotch, Ed Strangler Lewis, Joe Stetcher, Stanley Lissabisco, uh, you name them. It's got a long, long history. Now hopefully, um, uh, that's not too boring, me just pointing out a building and telling you the history of it. If it is, let me know. Uh, I'm quite, uh, quite open to uh, changing things up. Uh, this is a learning curve for me and I just want to start to show you what I know of New York City history. So that's going to do it for today's video. Uh, right now we're on the corner of Madison Square Park, not where Madison Square Garden was, just so you know. <laughs> um, so I'm going to wrap up for today. If you did enjoy it, I've got tons of videos coming up. Uh, so please go ahead and subscribe if you feel uh, that this is something you would enjoy. Uh, and I'll see you on the next video.